Now you want your website or blog to be found on search engines. So the first plugin I recommend getting is an SEO plugin so you can add metadata into your pages. You can use something like Yoast, Rank Math, or what I use is all-in-one SEO. To get started, all you need to do is add a new plugin from your plugin page, search for all-in-one SEO to install and activate the plugin. From there, you can go down the left menu to all-in-one SEO and play with all those settings. You can even automate some of the meta data in there so you don't have to keep on filling it out every time you post. I will actually leave links to videos in the description below with a full full range of tutorials so that you can master all-in-one SEO and get better search engine optimization for your website or blog. You don't want to build a website just to have it hacked and taken down. So you're going to need a good solid security plugin. I just use the free version of iTheme Security. It has a lot of cool features and it's very easy to set up. Once you have actually installed and activated the plugin, all you need to do is scroll down your left menu to Security and then go to Setup. You can then choose the type of website you are running, whether it's an online store or you know, a portfolio, and it will actually try to optimize your security for that kind of website. I'm gonna choose a brochure, and I simply go through and activate any of the options that I see fit. The defaults should be fine. However, uh, any extra layer of protection you can add is generally good. If you can, try to back up your website before doing this. I then simply use the recommended settings in most cases. I try to add my IP to the authorized host list so I don't get locked out. Adding your email to these features just gives you an extra layer of protection. And then of course, uh, once you've done setting it all up, just hit secure site to automatically sort of harden up your site and make it more secure against hackers and bots. And most of the default settings are actually pretty strong. But if I head down to security again, after I've secured the site, I have some advanced options and tools I can explore. Generally, I will leave the default set up then, but I might hide the back end by giving it a different login address, such as my hidden login. And that will actually change the WordPress login to whatever your domain is slash my hidden login. There's also some other tools here that you can consider doing, like changing the user ID from one. So it's these little extras that can help make your website just a little bit more secure, worth checking out. But a security plugin will stop most issues, but every now and then you might find you get something to slip through and take down your site. So I highly recommend grabbing a backup plugin. There's a whole bunch of these on the market. I use Backup Buddy. It's a pretty straightforward setup. You basically can set up a schedule, link it to your Dropbox, something like that, and it'll automatically back up regularly so you can restore those backups if things ever go wrong. And you don't want to get bombarded with spam email. So I recommend not listing your email on your site, but using a contact form. And for this, I use Ninja Forms. It's very easy to set up, very powerful. You can set up a capture and it's a great way to get an easy contact form on your website that you can highly customize if need be, or you can just use the template, which is simple, has a name, email, and a message area, and you can basically build that from there in a, with a couple of clicks. There are a ton of options, and as I said, you got recapture so you can protect against bot submissions. You can also uh, check the submissions on your WordPress site. It'll store them, so if you have an email issue, you can actually check the submissions on your WordPress website. It's a really awesome piece of software with a lot of extensions you can also grab. So check out Ninja Forms for a contact form plugin if you're looking for something like that. This one isn't a plugin as much as a service, which is Cloudflare. Cloudflare is a CDN and caching service which allows you to speed up your website and actually enhance its security so that it is less likely to get hacked, but is also served quicker as a CDN stores pages on your website cached at servers that are closer to the user. So if I have a website that has a server in America and an Australian person where I live goes to visit that website, an Australian Cloudflare server can deliver that content much quicker and it makes the whole process and the whole experience for the user much easier and quicker when viewing your website or blog. Finally, you wanna make sure you get a good theme. It may not be a plugin, but I highly recommend getting a good commercial theme because those themes are less likely to have security vulnerabilities and problems, but also a solid page builder means you have the flexibility to create whatever pages you want. Now, Elementor is pretty popular, but I swear by Divi, I've been using Divi for years. I've built over 100 websites with it, and the Divi theme has some a lot of powerful features that means you don't have to install as many plugins because you do want to avoid plugin bloat. Too many plugins can slow down your website. So I do have a video on the screen right now that shows you how to build a website with Divi and get you started. So check that out. Otherwise, check out my channel for more WordPress tutorials and information. Otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you again soon.